In this video, Starling Week begins. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited about this video because we're kicking off Sterling Week in collaboration with BBS Live, who's also kicking off Sterling Week today. Mine's probably a little earlier than theirs, but this is the beginning of Sterling Week. So this is the week when you use your Sterling products, you post them on social media, and you show that love. And I'm starting off today with a little bit of a Sterling coffee in the BBS Live mug. Now, one thing I want to mention, there is going to be a giveaway contest in this video. So let me tell you how this works. I have a lot of products that I'm using from Sterling in today's video, and I want you to count and comment below. Put just the number of products from Sterling that I used, including what I'm drinking and what I'm wearing. So the total number of products that I got from Sterling, comment it below. You'll have to count to figure that out. And uh, in about a week, we'll put the correct entry in a the random uh, giveaway picker the youtube random comment picker we'll put the right number in there and then we'll we'll do a giveaway so we're starting off with sterling coffee this is the guatemala uh, in the bbs live mug please check out nail and nate at bbs live i believe they're going to be going live this morning on instagram so go check that out that will be the official kickoff of sterling week here's to you mm. and so that is the sterling coffee with the guatemalan um coffee beans from Sterling. And don't forget, we're in the Sterling shirt. So today's shave uh, started, actually it started in the shower with the Sterling peach, uh, glacial peach soap. And that's also what we're gonna be using for the shave today. This is glacial peach. What does it smell like? It smells like peach and it's got menthol in it. So, so it's gonna be nice and cooling. There is your pour. This is a soft soap, but not the soft. It's probably um, soft, firm, but not quite medium, I would call it in consistency. The price on this is exceptional, $13.75 for 5.8 ounces or $2.37 an ounce on our cost chart, which is exceptional, great price, great quality, all the time from Sterling. We're going to be using the Sterling stainless steel razor today with the hyper aggressive plate. This is a very, very aggressive razor. And we're using the Voskhod blades, which I also got from Sterling and, uh, I think these were a dollar just for five. So I, almost everything I'm using today is from, from Sterling. We're going to start off with the Sterling mentholated pre-shave soap. So let's just get that wet. Or actually, let's mist the face first. And again, make sure you're counting the number of items from Sterling that I have on <laughs> display today because it's going to be a lot. We're just going to rub a little bit of that in there. Get a little bit of that menthol pre-shave going. And in my mix, by the way, I've added a couple of frost drops in my lather mix. So we're going to have some really good cooling today. And I'm really excited to be kicking off Sterling Week because, as you know, it's one of my favorite uh, artisans. They just do things the right way. Hardworking people, nice people. If you've never seen my interview with Sterling from last year, I'll pop it up in one of the corners there. They are truly nice people, and I think you'll find that to be the case if you... Uh, you check out that video okay we have the sterling lathering bowl the the travel lathering bowl here and we have the kong and this brush right here if you're enjoying really fine inexpensive synthetic knots in part due to this brush because sterling and razor rock years ago sourced these brushes um they did it separately of course but they sourced these um plus soft type knots when no one else had done it at the time. And they sold them very, very inexpensively around 20 bucks. And at the time, synthetic knots were going for, you know, $50, $60. And Sterling and Razor Rock, in my mind, were instrumental in bringing that cost of synthetic knots down. And, and then people understood, oh, these knots are very, very inexpensive. And, you know, we don't have to pay $60 for a a synthetic brush because Mula at the time was charging um, or Edwin Jagger and Mula were charging 60 plus dollars for their brushes and they're good brushes don't get me wrong but even the Poisson brush from L'Occitane originally was 60 and then they dropped it to 30 at some point on sale until they sold them out but Sterling and Razor Rock 
found these plus plus off knots right around the same time and sold them for about 20 bucks and they were the first really affordable synthetic brushes on the market and since that time people have you know found other places to source synthetic knots for for a reasonable price so I thank sterling and also italian barber for sourcing these knots and then sell them to you for a reasonable price. They could have held you the barrel for say half, you know, 30 bucks, but um, I think they're really responsible for what you're seeing today in synthetic knots. Okay, there is our glacial peach. I'm getting some good cooling. Here is our hyper aggressive uh, stainless razors from Sterling. By the way, this, the, uh, the stock on these razors is getting low. Uh, one of the viewers commented and said that. And I don't know if these will be made again. Um, the viewer commented that Rod would not make them unless he had his own machine shop or perhaps greater control. So if you want one of these stainless razors, um, now would be the time. They may never come back or it might be a long, long time before they do. So just keep that in mind. And I tell you right now, this is an efficient shaver. You're not going to have to do a lot of cleaning up with this. Um, can you see the blade gap on that? Very, very efficient. And it gets the job done, let me tell you. Really, really nice. Anyway, uh, at one point in time, Sterling, I had on my worst products list. I don't remember when that was, probably around 2013, 2014 time period, because at the time their soaps had a very bad side odor and it was, something in the base and it came off to me smelling like dirty socks and i made a video and i was like you know i just don't like them they stink they smell funky they were on my worst products list and rod and mandy went to work they took that feedback to heart they went to work and they eliminated that side odor through changing i think tallow suppliers and working on their the way they produced their soaps and uh once that funk was gone, it became one of my uh, favorite soaps, and I've never looked back since. And I really appreciate the way Rod handled that, Rod and Mandy handled that criticism. I know it was hard to hear at the time, but them making that change made a world of difference. And then they brought the Kong to market, which again was one of the first large synthetic brushes that was uh, affordable. At the time, brushes were 18 to 20 millimeters. 22 would have been considered a large brush, and that one was 26. And Rod tells me that when we bought that brush, Busta, Shave Busta and I brought, bought that brush, things just really took off for them. We made we bought the brushes, we made videos about how much we liked the brush, and things really took off uh, for Sterling and turned around. And so that I'm always very, it's a sentimental thing to me because, you know, they went from literally being one of the worst products that I'd ever used to one of the best. Um, and that really is a story of perseverance and hard work. And that's what Sterling represents. Um, hard work, perseverance. They're both veterans who have served country and you just won't find better people to buy from. So if you have never bought from Sterling's, Sterling, <laughs> excuse me, um, give them a shot. Their products are incredible. Um, I make some of the best lathers easily with Sterling. It is plenty slick enough. If you lather this soap in a way that gets the best out of it, in other words, you have hydration, and it, it is plenty slick enough. And that will be the case with almost any soap. If you get the best out of it and get hydration in it, it will be slick. Now, I want to mention, when you're, when you're doing your Sterling post this week on social media, don't forget, here's my uh, IMCDB Facebook page. Not my personal Facebook, but here's my IMCD the Facebook page. Like that page and tag me when you use your Sterling product. I want to see what you're using and you can tag me on Instagram, but um, definitely like that Facebook page because I put all my stuff on there for you. So if you're on Facebook, you know, check that one out. It's not my personal Facebook account because I try to, you know, that one I don't do too much shaving stuff on or I try not to where I don't have to. Uh, I have a page just for that. So if you want to message me on Facebook, use the business page, not my personal account, because I'll never see it on my personal account because it will just go to the other folder. So please tag me in your social media posts. If you're on Twitter, I'm on Twitter also. Um, Instagram, 
Facebook, but again, make sure you're using my business account, the IMCDB that I'll put right there for you. And all my social media links are below, as well as the products, as well as my Sterling lathering tutorial. Always hit that button that says show more, and below there'll be all sorts of links. Um, take advantage of that. Every product I'm using today will be linked there as well. So make sure you check that out. And we're going for our second pass here. Great slick lather today with Sterling as usual. It's a little bit different consistency because lathering in this travel bowl is different from my Captain's Choice. I'm used to uh, making the lather in my Captain's Choice bowl. That's my daily driver. But today we're using the Sterling travel bowl or I'm calling it travel bowl. And yes, I know people have commented um, every now and then You'll see some wise guy on Instagram be able to go, this is just a dog bowl, nice try, Sterling. <laughs> and it's like, everybody knows that it's a, it's a, uh, it's like a pet food bowl, like a travel bowl. But it's also a great idea for lathering if you, uh, if you're traveling. And I'm, I had no problem making a lather in it. But every now and then you'll see someone who, uh, who thinks they've, they've been the one to discover it's a, <laughs> this bowl is a, is a pet bowl. Uh, and it's funny, I just get a chuckle out of it. And then they tag Ter Sterling and they're like, nice try. You know, I'm like, oh my goodness. Sterling just had the idea that, hey, this bowl could be used for leathering purposes. And I think it's a great idea for traveling, especially. Will it replace my Captain's Choice bowl? No, of course not. But I got it to use this week and I'm gonna be using a lot of Sterling this week. Perhaps not every single day, because I have some things coming that warrant some use, but... Um, you can be sure we'll be honoring Sterling this week and doing it uh, in an appropriate way. We've had some Sterling weeks in the past, but this will be the biggest ever. We're counting on you to make it so. So get out that Sterling this week and paint everything green. You know, that's what it's about. I'll be honest with you. I know um, I saw someone make a comment. Let's have a little coffee. Here's to you all. BBS Live mug. I saw someone uh, make a comment uh, a couple of weeks ago about they thought sterling cents were cheap and, every, and you know, you're entitled to your opinion but i would say this some of the artisans that you're using today would not be around if not for sterling sterling made soaps for some of the artisans who are now making their own soaps when they first started their companies and so you might not have had some of these great companies if not for sterling they were one of the og soap makers you know one of the first 10 let's say that were really prominent um, first five or 10 that people were aware of. And without them leading the way along with some other companies, you're, you know, some of the newer companies that are making the fancy soaps and ha get all the accolades would likely not be around. Or certainly things would not have been e as easy for them. But, um, now, Sterling didn't always announce when they were making soaps for other companies that were you know, I don't mean they were making soaps that were that other companies branded as their own and they claimed to make it themselves. Sterling um, sold to companies who, you know, put put their house brand label on. They did not. Those companies did not claim to make the soap base, though, just to be clear. But they were they've been of help to many another artisan. And so without them, some of your. Preferred artisans may not be around. So it's always a good idea to pay respect to those who led the way. Sterling was definitely a leader in the artisanal realm of shaving wares and remains so today. Um, doing things the right way, workman class fashion, um, taking pride in what they do, being great people. And they had to learn just like we all did, how to navigate this uh, community. Because early on, I remember, you know, there were sometimes arguments between soap makers and so on. And, and I think they learned just like I've learned that it's best just to do what you do and try to do it in a positive way, you know, and just try to be uplifting and be a blessing. And I think, I think they learned that lesson early on as some other uh, artisans did too. I remember years ago when uh, when when PAA and uh, Razor Rock collaborated on making the beach. The beach was originally a Italian barber um, and PAA collaboration. 
now it's just branded as PA, but at the time it was a collaboration. Sterling was also um, releasing a PAA, or excuse me, not PAA. Sterling was releasing a South Padre Island at the same time, and they were both beach type scents. They weren't similar whatsoever in scent, but because of the timing, that created a ruckus at the time. You don't really see that much from soap makers anymore, squabbling over having the same type of scent. And I, for one, am very, very grateful for that. I'm glad that the artisans have learned just to do their own thing, make their own soaps, and not worry so much about what other people are making. Because uh, that was an uncomfortable period of time for the customers. And, and that kind of stuff goes on today with brush makers, and it also makes it uncomfortable for the customer. We don't want to be in the middle of that. Work that out yourselves. We don't want to be in the middle of it. And the soap makers figure that out because they realize that there's, just, you know, while you can make many, many scents, sometimes we're going to release similar type scents at the same time. That's just the way it is. And every now and then you'll see something pop up, but for the most part, they don't fight about it anymore. And for me, that is a true blessing because I just, I'm not interested in hearing the soap makers or razor makers arguing back and forth, especially when it's in public and, and then they, the brands get their zealots involved and it's like they're kind of leading their zealots into conflict. I don't like that. And so I'm so glad the soap makers don't do that much these days. Mostly they get along and try to realize this is a small community and everybody talks to one another and it's best just to try to get along as best you can. Boy, man, what a nice show we're having today. And I hope you're counting the Sterling products. We will definitely have more here in just a moment. All right, that was an excellent, excellent shave. Let me rinse. Then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse and then we applied the Sterling, I almost said PAA, Sterling Allen Block, then did a cold water rinse and now we are going to apply the Sterling Witch Hazel. This is uh, mentholated. It's got aloe and what else does it have in it? Uh, witch Hazel and aloe. And as you can see here, I don't know if you can see that, but there's some menthol floating around in there. So we expect this to be nice and cooling and I'm going to be digging it. Never used Sterling uh, Witch Hazel before. So this is the first time. So that's going to be very, very nice. I'm telling you what, this was a great shave and a great way to kick off Sterling Week. Uh, we're going to go ahead and apply the aftershave and then we'll run down what we use today. This is the Sterling Glacial Peach uh, aftershave. If I can get it open, my hands are a little bit slippery from all this slick <laughs> Sterling stuff. Apply a little of that and then we're going to be having a great day today. And hope wherever you are, you have a Sterling day. Okay, let's run down what we used. We used the Sterling Aftershave, Glacial Peach, Sterling Stainless Razor with a Voskot I bought from Sterling, wearing the Sterling shirt, added some Sterling Frost Drops, drinking some Sterling coffee, used the Sterling Mentholated Pre-Shave, used the Sterling Kong brush, which I'm slinging stuff all over the place, used the Sterling Lather Bowl, Sterling Witch Hazel, what else do we have Sterling? Oh, Sterling bar soap before the shower, Sterling soap, and we're going to even slap on a, just a slight bit of balm, even though this isn't the same scent, just to say I use this too. Just a little bit there. I'm just going to slap that on the dome. And there we go. Can you count how many products we used? Put it below, and in about a week or so, I will use the YouTube random comment picker and announce a winner of the giveaway. The item for the giveaway shall remain a mystery until then. Thanks so much for joining us for Sterling Week. Remember, Use your Sterling, tag me, follow me on Insta and Facebook, and tag me on those accounts. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's Sterling Week. Get after it. God bless.